All right, guys. What is going on? So today's a huge day for me. Today's the day that I've decided that me and Tyson are going to be installing the six foot glass patio door entrance into the greenhouse. Kind of a big job. So bear with us. It's a little bit of a longer video, but please enjoy. The end result is absolutely beautiful. So the first step of this project was to lay out correctly the right measurements that we had to make on the wall to be able to cut the first layer of plywood off, which exposes the vapor barrier and the insulation. For this job, I used a skill saw set at the correct depth, not going too deep in order to remove the plywood off the wall. Cleaning up and maintaining a nice clean work area is very important, especially when you're working inside the house. Now that the insulation is exposed, we're going to remove the insulation, place it off to the side. As you can see, we're stacking it up here, exposing the exterior wall. Now that the insulation has been removed, as you can see there is an electrical socket in the center of the plywood. So to safely work on this, we're going to have to flip the breaker, turn the power off and cut the wiring. I use a small pry bar right here to remove the last few remaining nails which secure this piece of plywood to the wall.
Now that the bottom trim's been removed, we're gonna be using the Sawzall to cut the exterior wall, exposing daylight, which gives us access to be able to go in and out of the wall to help us work on either side. And just like that, we're through. Oh, this is so exciting. Seeing that daylight coming into my house is just, it's amazing. It's brightening everything up, letting that sun come into the room. Oh, wonderful. At this point here, Tyson's drilling two holes on either side of the top of the door. That will give us a reference point on the back side of the wall to put our level on so we can make a straight line to cut through the wood with the Sawzall. As you can see here, Tyson's just finishing marking up the outer exterior wall so we can proceed with cutting with the Sawzall. Tyson proceeds to use a sawzall cutting the exterior wall, I start hauling in the beams that we're going to use to reinforce the wall. At this point here you can see daylight, that small thin line of light coming through the wall indicating that the wall has almost been fully cut out. Just a few more final cuts here and the wall is almost fully ready to come out. This is so exciting.
And just like that, guys, we have an opening for the door. Yahoo! This is gonna look so beautiful. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, this is like next level, dude. Yeah. Okay. A couple quick cuts here, guys, and the beams are ready to be installed to help reinforce the studs that we had taken out. I'm just getting ready here to attach the first main support to the stud. So after installing the first beam, we decided to take lunch. And that's where things kind of fell apart. We came back, we proceeded with the job, thinking we had been recording the last bit of the install, the last two beams, and the door. But unfortunately, our batteries had died in our GoPro. I was devastated. I had no idea that this had happened till we uploaded the video content onto our computers weeks later. So I'd just like to say I'm sorry. This is all new to me filming everything and recording it, checking the cameras and making sure that everything is recording properly. I'm sorry guys, but the door is installed. Hallelujah.